Because Salesforce.com is built purely on web-based technology, it is, of course, very easy to leverage the web to bring in things like leads into your uh, Salesforce inbox. And one of the ways that Salesforce does this is through what we call a web to lead form. In order to see your web to lead form in Salesforce, simply go to your name, setup, and on the left hand side under app setup and customize, we're going to go right to the leads area. Now under the leads are all the different attributes that we can change with our lead, but at the bottom, you'll see we have our web to lead form here. And by default, this is going to be enabled. I'd highly suggest that you go through and look at some of this information before you start, but in order to set up your web to lead form, I just simply click create web to lead form, and I can determine which fields on my lead page I would like to add in. And bear in mind, this of course includes any custom fields that you've created as well, not just the ones that are out of the box. So by default, I'd like to collect the first, last name, email, company, etc. I can go through and say, well, I'd like to see uh, what country and, um, you know, perhaps uh, what the, uh, the web source is. Now oh, bear in mind, I can also create hidden fields in my HTML code, which I'll cover off in a moment. So once I've selected the fields that I would like to add in, I can determine what is my return URL, and we'll just use salesforce.com as an example, and I simply generate that HTML code. Now, if you have a webmaster that will take this information and post it to your website, you can use that. Uh, or you can also uh, resort to a third party in order to host your web to lead form. But Salesforce is going to provide you with all of the code that you need. Now you'll notice that there's a, there are some comments in here that we can follow as well as what is called the org ID, a 15 digit uh, unique character to everybody's individual instance of Salesforce. And this is what is going to determine where this web to lead form points. And you can browse through the information to see what's being selected. If you know HTML, you can go in and change information if you like. But if I select all of this, open up Notepad, and we're just going to save this as a basic HTML document. So I'll call this my uh, uh, web to lead.html. And I'll just save that onto my desktop. When I go back in to open up that file, You'll notice that, of course, the formatting is way off. This is the raw code that comes right out of Salesforce. So now I can go back into that web to lead setup and I can either use an HTML editor or again, any webmaster to customize this information further. Once I'm finished, I can go back in, put in whatever information that I'd like. And uh, we can, of course, make these required fields, change this in any way and submit the query. Once we've done that, of course, it returns us to our return site. Before the lead comes in, I can change a few settings. If I go into the edit area, I can see, of course, that it's been enabled. The default creator is me when something is created online, but I can make it any user. And of course, a default response template. So as soon as somebody creates a new lead from the web to, web to lead form, we can reply automatically to them. Now bear in mind, you can create as many web to lead forms as you like. It doesn't matter uh, from Salesforce's perspective, if you have 20, 50, 100, you can create different web to leads based on whatever campaigns you're running. So now when I go back to my leads tab, we'll have a look at today's leads. And sure enough, I can see that uh, the brand new lead has come in. I can now drill in and see that information, see when the lead was created, and start to work alongside this lead. If I had set up an email template, I would automatically see in the activity history that an auto response had been set. So the key things to remember with creating the web to lead form, it can work on any field that you create in Salesforce. Once you've set up that particular uh, field that you would like to track, it's simply a uh, point and click to drag it into the interface. And once you've created that uh, web to lead form, it's very easy to modify the information. And when you generate that, uh, that HTML code to go in and modify, create your tables or hand to a webmaster to further customize.